Yeah, so this year I presented the combination therapies using the HMA band backbone, hypomethylene H and venetoclax backbone. So I presented four different types of combinations, which are sort of rationally designed in some ways based on the known resistance mechanisms to venetoclax. Um, the first one combination is with a flex free inhibitor in the uh, patients who have flex free ITD mutations because we know that uh, this mutation confers uh, resistance to BSO2 inhibition, uh, mainly through upregulation of other antipoptotic family members. So, what the preclinical data show that if you combine the flex free inhibitor with BSO2 inhibitor, there is very strong synergy uh, through several mechanisms that we described. And so, there was a clinical trial first doing the doublet. Uh, with Nandoclux plus gelteritinib and the relapse refractory salvage population, which was published in JCO last year. And that showed very high BOMA response rate up to 75 to 80%, including responses in patients who failed prior flex free inhibitors. Uh, and patients who were able to transition towards stem cell transplantation, they had quite long survival. So that looks fairly promising in the salvage setting. Uh, however, we want to move this into the frontline uh, setting. So the data presented at ASH uh, by uh, Nick Short from MD Anderson and Farhad Ravandi showed what we call triplet, which is uh, HMA, venetoclax, and gilteritinib in the both relapse refractory and newly diagnosed patients. And then in the newly diagnosed patients who were older and uh, unable to get the intensive chemotherapy, this combination was highly effective and producing the response rate of nearly 100%. And so far, the duration looks very appealing and durable, but of course, we need longer follow-up. Uh, so I think this combination hopefully will be going forward, uh, but uh, we all have to remember that it required very careful dosing studies uh, with the reduction of venetoclax duration to two weeks uh, and also reduction of the doses of capsulitinib down to 80 milligram daily. Second combination that uh, we discussed was combination with IDH1 inhibitor, ivocetinib, and again, this was triplet and IDH1 mutated setting. Uh, so we demonstrated that uh, this combination actually enhanced the depth of response and prolonged the survival in patients with IDH1 mutated. There were several powers based on the dose level, based on the disease, but all of them look very promising. And the most impressive is that the toxicities were uh, similar to HMV HMA ban or uh, HMA IVO combination, so there was no excess toxicity. The therapy was very well tolerated. Uh, so I think this is another um, genetic sort of defined uh, combination triplet that we have. And finally, I presented two immune therapy combinations, one with uh, NTC-123 antibody drug conjugate, uh, which is uh, now called PVAC from Immunogen, and the second with the NTCD-47 antibody magrolimab. Uh, so both uh, were presented at ASH last year, and uh, we have, my lab has done preclinical studies studies that show the synergy between uh, uh, ASA and endoclox and these two new agents. So in the uh, HMA van PVAC study, um, this study was in relapse refractory salvage population, and there was quite impressive uh, reduction of the bone marrow loss. And also in the newly diagnosed patient, there were only 10, but uh, the response rate was 50%, but the MRD negative response was 75%. So at least it looks like that we are able to get deeper responses uh, with this triplet again we have we need more data and the doses had to be modified for it to be safe and finally the ASA van magrolimab study which was MD Anderson uh, investigator initiated study accrued both uh, p53 wild type and p53 mutated patients uh, um, and the response rate were 91% in the wild type patients but it was also 64% in the mutated patients and that's where we really need new therapies because uh, we know that HMA band is not beneficial in this subset. So the study moved into randomized phase three study that is about to start called Enhance 3, uh, which will randomize HMA van magrolium up to versus HMA van. So we're looking forward to the results of the studies.